Okay, good evening. Welcome to the April 19th, 2016 Planning Board meeting. Uh, I have to announce we are recording this for the purpose of uh, minutes. LCAT is also recording, and I have to ask if anyone else is. Charlie, no? Okay. We will jump right in then. We have a 6 p.m. request for a waiver of site plan review, uh, lot 13 Baldwin Street. Uh, request for waiver site plan review. Property owner is uh, Charles Richard, without an S. 56 Deer Run uh, Terrace East Long Meadow. Phone numbers are listed here. Name of proposed business is NA. Owner of business is NA. Property owner address is NA. Uh, property address is Lot 13 Baldwin Street. Uh, it is zoned industrial. It's an allowed use. Uh, proposed hours of operation are NA. Number of employees are NA. Uh, data blast parking plan the site has never been developed um, summary uh, commercial building 1,690 square feet plus or minus with parking uh, number of commercial vehicles is NA amount of product storage is NA the application has been signed and dated April 6 2016 I have a copy. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Charlie, you want to come on up? You don't have to, but you can. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, what it looks like is you want to actually, or you're proposing a brand new structure on a vacant lot. Um, I went back through, Robin, I, can, I can't remember any time that, that we've waived a site plan for a brand new structure. I mean, is that, I mean, I know it's a small building. I'd like to open it up to the board to hear what your thoughts are. I mean, most of the times with new construction, you're doing a full site plan for it. Um, My concerns are we don't know what the use is gonna be, so it's difficult to judge whether the parking is correct. And giving a waiver basically removes any further oversight. I mean, the, the, the plan is not really part of the waiver. It's not referenced in the waiver. Um, I, I would be very uncomfortable about that, um, given that we've been burned on this kind of thing before, uh, particularly with regard to the uh, old community feed property, where we gave a waiver that was not specific enough in it really um, caused some difficulties. I think for a new building, we really should require a site plan. That's just my opinion. Deb, what are your thoughts? Um, being, going through the site plan reviews that we've done before, and being mm -hmm. the newest member, yeah. uh, it struck me as odd that it was a site plan review without a building. Mm -hmm. Same concerns yep. with George. Mm -hmm. But I was kind of waiting to voice them here and mm -hmm. see what we have to say to discuss mm -hmm. them openly. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mike, I would agree with George. I think uh, not enough information for what we, uh, what we need to do or what he needs to do. I, I mean, say. one of the things I notice is under the waiver is it talks about if there's an alar enlargement and without a building there can't be any enlargement. I didn't see anything in here that said, uh, you know, you can waive a new construction. Um, that's why I was wondering if we had ever done anything like that before. No, it's exciting. It would be tough, like George said, without a use of the parking plan that could come back to bite us. And Tide? Yeah, I think we need more information. Um, and by waiving it, we would not have a chance to look at any additional information. So I, I don't think we should waive it. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of additional stuff that's mentioned. Well, we got drainage we're missing, mm -hmm. landscaping we're missing. And, and all this stuff might end up being okay in the end, but I'd like to at least take a look at it before mm -hmm. it gets approved or, or denied, but, you know, hopefully approved. Yeah, I mean, if we have a site plan, then we have something to reference, and if it has to be changed, it can be changed, but at least there's something that the... There is something to change the property is only so big. Yeah, it's a small property. Yeah. I understand and that. 25 yeah. feet in the back for... Uh, for um, the landscape the buffer, landscape. buffer mm -hmm. and there's a, there's a, um, a manhole right, a catch base right in front of the property. 
You know, e everything that you've got to go through for the site plan approval is the same stuff you have to do anyways. I mean, you can't build a building without um, engineer plans, without basically most everything that's they're going to be required anyway. So it's not really asking you to do anything additional that you're not going to have to do anyways in order to get a building permit and build a building. Yeah, I think from a historical historical point of view, we're going to need something on record. We know what the use is, what the parking is, what's been allowed. So when it comes back again, if you ever sell the property, the previous, uh, you know, the next owner will have some reference as to what was done. Or if there's a problem with it, a butter or something yeah. that gets missed through through the process. Yeah, well, we would not be doing our job. Yeah. Well, we could do one of two things. Um, if I'm correct, you could actually withdraw the request for um, the waiver or we could take a vote on it, whether it's up or down. Well, whoever uses the building's got room for approval anyway, right? Yes. Yeah. Then you'll know if there's enough parking, you'll know if, you know what I'm saying? Yep. So, I mean, you can always say no then, yes or no then. But then the building's built. Yeah. Right. The yeah. building is, is, um, is the, the biggest building you can build on a property. You can't go to the sides anymore, you can't go to the back, and you can't go to the front. It's the maximum. There's not even a foot you can, you can build on. But the building could go up higher than originally proposed. There's all kinds of changes that could be made, which is why I think site plan is appropriate. Okay, with that then I would uh, entertain a motion. I'll make a motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. What are you approving? To approve the waiver. It's just, it's just, this is the way, the proper way to put a motion. Make a motion to approve the waiver, and then you vote either up or down on the approval. If you disagree, if you don't want to issue the waiver, you vote. You vote no. The motion has to be made okay. in the affirmative. Oh, we're doing it backwards. Okay. Right. Right. Well, because right. because that, that's that's the, the proper way to do it under Robert's rules. Yeah, I got you. Okay. So we have a motion in the affirmative to approve the waiver of site plan. It's been seconded. Any further discussion? All those in favor of approving the waiver say aye. All those opposed say nay. 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 You're going to need a site plan. Okay. Sorry, but it's just. Just following the rules. Yeah. <laughs> you want to take up the administrative issue, Ralph? Yes. I'll make, I'll make a motion to reorganize the uh, board and to uh, appoint um, Mr. Page as the chair. Would anyone like to second I'll that? I'll second that. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <laughs> One abstained? <laughs> no, I, guess, I thought, I thought we, never mind. I thought uh, yeah, I was thinking that was going to go a different way. It's me too. What's yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought. yeah. I thought George, George was going to become no, chair. No, no. Well, this is my last year. No, Ralph, right. this is Ralph's yeah. senior year. It's my junior year. Okay. okay. This is Ralph's last year on the board, uh, unless he gets reappointed next year. year. All right. Okay. This is my next to last year. Okay. All right. Then I'll make a motion to put George as vice chair. Is there a second? I'll second that. Further discussion? All, right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 One abstention. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone want to make a motion to have me continue to be the chair? <laughs> so much. Hold on, no more. Chair. Oh, clerk, 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 clerk. I mean, clerk, clerk. I meant clerk. <laughs> Sorry. I'm waiting for it to come. I know. Whenever you say so, it's automatically mine. Well, <laughs> I will make, yeah, let I, me know. I'll make the motion to retain Mr. Richards as clerk. Is there a second? Second. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, is there further discussion? Yeah, yeah, further discussion. Deb, listen, are you sure? Because I think you're next in line to be, and I don't want to be selfish about this because I've done it for three years. and <laughs> He's good at it. And I'm going to see how long I can yeah. keep doing it. So, so seriously, I, I don't want you to feel that. Um, I don't feel slighted at all. Are you sure? Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. All right. I'm trying to keep all this straight, guys. So okay, we need so to vote. George, is there any other discussion or no? Okay. If if if, if we have a glutton for punishment, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have a motion <laughs> made and seconded to make the, uh, the clerk or to keep him as clerk. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? 
on uh, your okay. YouTube channels. <laughs> <laughs> okay, did we get that, Robin? I uh, guess. Okay. Ty Good, likes you. Clark. He likes reading. I know he doesn't want to leave. <laughs> It's, it's, it's a seat that I'm comfortable with. I'm a creature of habit, I guess. You know, I keep walking in here and I keep sitting in the second seat from the right, or from the left. But I'm you're happy. Okay, we're okay. going to jump right into our... Elegance. <sighs> yes, a request for signage. Now I'm going to say every word wrong, wrong and everyone's going to say, why did we do this? Uh, sign permit application, uh, Elegance Barbershop, 671 North Main Street, East Long Meadow. Business owner's name and address is Jose Vesqual, 98 Corrin Street, Springfield, Mass. Property owner's name and address is City Line Development, 2 South Bridge Drive, Agawam. Phone number is listed here. Uh, square footage of proposed sign is 20.8. It is single face. Uh, it will be attached to the building. Uh, if projection, if any, be two feet, six inches. Um, if building attached to the building, does uh, does the sign project over pedestrian vehicle way? Yes. How much? This, this is not accurate, but I believe it's supposed to be two feet, six That's inches. Right. Looks mm -hmm. like 27 feet, uh, the way it's written here. Uh, distance to nearest side yard is 12 feet. Distance uh, to top of sign above vertical wall is 10 feet, six inches, is illuminated. The uh, sign is permanent. Uh, number of existing signs are zero. Total number of proposed and existing signs are one. Total square footage of proposed and existing signs are 16.6. The uh, application has been signed and the uh, estimated cost is $800. Uh, this is what I like about being the clerk. So th this is the awning <laughs> sign. <laughs> Who's the owner? This is an awning sign, yeah. yeah. Who's the owner of the property? Uh, uh, Jose Vesqual. Okay. Oh, right. Space uh -huh. right in the corner, right above the door. Yeah. Well, being that it's a projection of only two, oh, two feet. Yeah. yeah. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Charlie's coming back. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, uh, request for signage, elements, massage, 80 center square. Uh, sign permit application dated April 4th, 2016. Company name and owner is Elements Massage, 80 center square. Uh, phone number is listed here. Square footage of proposed sign is 20. It's rebranding only. It is single faced. Uh, it is not freestanding. It will be attached to the building. Projection, if any, is non applicable. Uh, setback from street or public way is in the plaza. Distance to top of sign vertical wall is NA. The sign is permanent. It is non-illuminated. Total number of existing signs are three. Total square footage of existing signs are 28. Uh, total number of proposed and existing signs are three. Uh, total area proposed and existing signs are 28. The application has been signed and the estimated cost is $1,624. So what is there, one entry sign yes. coming in and then one or two on the building or? No, the, on, on the direction. On the so there's one on the pylon oh, side so and one on the front building. Oh, so they're saying one this. Okay, that makes sense. We don't, we don't need to read all three of these. Would entertain a motion to approve. So moved. Second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 And then we have a request for signage Cupcake Cafe's Mother's Day event, 225 Shaker Road on 517.16. Is it this one right here? Yes. Okay. Uh, Town of East Long Meadow Planning Board regarding cupcakes. Cupcake Cafe Mother's Day event on May 7, 2016, sign permit application. To whom it may concern, I am holding a one-day event at the bookstore on 225 Shaker Road known as Bodiquus Bot Bot Book in Bubbles. I would like permission to put a lawn sign on the front lawn regarding this event. The sign is 18 inches by 27 inches with copies of colors and 
specifics and clothes. This is a typical size card, cardboard sign with metal stakes pushed into the ground. Upon approval of the board, the sign will go up for 7 to 10 days and be removed on May 7th, 16th after the event has ended. Con kindly contact me if there's any further information required for the approval of the sign permit. Uh, it has been signed by Kathleen Russo. I think that's Bodacious Books. Bodacious? Thank you very much. I have to uh, keep practicing at being a clerk. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping us on our toes. I appreciate that. <laughs> so she is looking for a temporary sign to put up out front for her one day event. Okay. I think it's great that uh, they came in ahead of time. Yeah. I make a motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 And I'm sorry, but this never made it to the agenda. It should have been. No, it's been here for a while. Can we uh, deal with it even though it's not on the agenda? Mm -hmm. Okay. We don't have other business on here. I'm sorry, what? We don't have other business listed on the agenda. We've got the preceding list of items is what the board reasonably anticipated okay. discussion at the meeting. Right. Okay. Just Remarking because the BLS has gotten into deep trouble the last two minutes. Yeah, they don't have that disclaimer. Oh, okay, very good. I think what we should do is take a listen to it, and if it's going to be controversial, okay, mm -hmm. then we'll put it off. Okay, uh, request for waiver of site plan review. Property owner is Plouffe Realty LLC, Raymond Plouffe. Owner's address is 217. Is it, what is that after the oh. 7? L. Mm -hmm. Shaker Road, East Long Meadow. Uh, uh, owner's telephone numbers are listed here. Name of proposed business is Shapes Salon Corp. Uh, owner of business is Timberly Marcies. Marquesi. Guys, I know I'm saying, why in the world is he the clerk? <laughs> 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 when I get it right, I'll step down. <laughs> 77 Porter Road, East Long Meadow, Mass. Property address is 217 Shaker Road, East Long Meadow. Property district is industrial. It's an allowed use. Proposed hours or operation are 40 hours, Tuesday through Saturday. Number of employees are one booth, approximately nine to seven. Uh, date of last parking plan is five years. Summary of business is hair salon. The application has been signed and dated April 14th, 2016. And Shapes is already there. They're just moving down two doors. Okay. So in other, in order to get their business certificate re-upped okay. to the right address, that's yeah. what this is. Make a motion to approve. Second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Um, da -da -da. Stretch energy code. I don't think we have to worry about that anymore. No. No, it's it's yeah. not on the draft like warrant. Not. It's no, not no. on the draft warrant. Perfect. Okay. And okay, we've and got I minutes doubt that then. it's going to be brought up. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um, the review of minutes, uh, March 8th, I had sent in my corrections. Um, at the last meeting, we only had two members that were there that, during that meeting. I think Michael has to sign those, doesn't he? Yes. Um, because you weren't here, or was it Michael wasn't here? Uh, this is Mike. Michael. There you go, buddy. You'll do job. Do I hear a motion to approve? So moved. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 March 8th is approved for uh, zero with one abstaining. April 5th, I just did all the corrections, sent them back to Donna. I think there was three corrections. I had two that I sent them. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Is there a motion to approve? Some it's of April 5th. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.